Okay, I'm gonna warn you right now. This video is gonna be ridiculously long. So, um, what I think I'm going to do is try to separate the jewelry pieces that I've done from like just like little random stuff just because there is way too much stuff I mean way too much stuff and um yeah I won't be able to fit this in one video okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna show you the jewelry stuff now and then I'll make another video and then um show you just like with my hands and stuff just so it could be a little bit faster okay so I'm just doing this very randomly um I guess I'll just go ahead and show you the stuff that I've done um that I'm wearing so I've done this week a couple of um peacock feather earrings and these are not glazed yet that's why it's not shiny but um, I just mixed a bunch of colors and made this huge Fimo cane. And um, so, so I can make that for you guys if you want. This one is mine. And I can make that for you guys. And also, um, I wanted to make a necklace with the leftover, um, leftover clay that I had. So I made this one so the black, uh, the black, <laughs> the back is just black and then that's what the front looks like. It's kind of messy, um, but if I, you know, did it, uh, for you guys or anything, it would look a little bit better than this, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I think it's really pretty. I really like it. And then I made this necklace that I absolutely love. It's just, um, whatchamacallit, it's just like zombie brain, and it's shaped into a heart, and I saw this on Google, so this is not my creation, but yeah, it looks like that. And you can also make, I can also make these as like individual earrings or um, just make like one full one so it's not separated like that. Um, or you can make it like a friendship type necklace. Some of the stuff I showed on Facebook so it might look familiar. I made these earrings and these are just um, lavender roses and they have Swarovski crystal right in the center of them and they're really pretty and these are already glazed ready to go and then this is another one of my favorites I did it um, like about a week ago this is uh, like a zebra cake and it's shaped into a heart and it has a bow with a Swarovski crystal in the center of it so pretty I absolutely love it and all the rings are adjustable on the back so you can definitely adjust it if you want and then I made this um, black bow ring looks so cute made um, I wanted to make like fruit jewelry in sets so I made this grape ring and you can see it has a little face on it and I also made matching earrings isn't that cute so adorable and then this one I made for myself this is a painter's palette with um, little brush I don't know if I showed you guys that yet I don't think I did so I'm thinking about just turning that into a necklace or like just a one-sided earring or something like that and then I made the Brazilian flag earrings I can't find the other pair right now 
um, or the other side, but it's just a Brazilian flag. And it comes off like that. And my niece made um, a keychain, Brazilian flag keychain. Yeah, I forgot to give that to her, but so I thought it would be cool too. I can um, actually make you guys your flag, your country's flag keychains, if you wanted to. I think that'd be nice. Um, I also made this apple, and I want to turn into an earring. And um, I got this idea from oh, what's her name? I'll put the name up here because I completely forgot the name. So this is credited to her and it has a little worm coming out. It has like little eyes and stuff. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, let's see. I also made some books and it has like a skull on it and you can see the book is all worn out. And I made a matching other one because so, I want to turn these into earrings. And then, you can see the side. And then I made a necklace for it. And one side has a heart and the other, ha other side has a skull and um, bones. Side these two earrings you can see they're really big but they have a mirror inside of them and I thought that was kind of cool so these are just mine but I can make you guys some if you wanted it um, Mama Goma earrings I can't find the other one but this is just one side you can see it's just a little um, seal so cute it's so tiny um, and then I made just a regular um, I love wearing fake plugs so I just wanted to create my own and this is just a regular silver one I have two of those and then I made some animal print earrings and I made this one. It's like a zebra. And then this one. And this one I'm actually very happy with. It came out really nice. And then I actually have a necklace that goes with it. So, looks like that. And then I made this um, cool design one as well. And I try to um, make turquoise because, oh, if you guys know me, I am obsessed with turquoise. So <clears throat> I try to replicate the um, turquoise stone. And these are not glazed yet, so, but I kind of like the results, not too much. So I'm going to try that again. I'm thinking of turning them into earrings because I also made a ring, and I actually like how the ring came out. Um, that looks like that. And I love these, like, big gaudy rings, by the way, so... Pretty. I did a skull with um, a rose on its head. You could turn this to earrings or a pendant. I also made a demo. And I'm going to turn him into a keychain. He's really tiny. And the ring that I was actually wearing for this tutorial. Um, it goes with the earring stud, so pretty pretty. 
And I also made this pendant that I haven't glazed or put on a necklace yet. And I have the matching earring to go with that. And I made, I showed you guys my strawberry ring. So I made the um, grape that I just showed you. And then I made an orange. I also made a keychain. And it's like a matte compact. I don't know if I showed you guys this. And then when you open it, it has a mirror inside. Cool. Just to have it, you know, have it in your purse or wherever you want. You can even turn it into a necklace if you wanted to. I also made these earrings. I don't know if I showed you guys this one. I don't think I did. And um, also this wasn't my creation. So, just letting you know. Whenever I do polymer clay updates or anything like that, I'm also I'm always going to credit the artist. So I'll I'll always put the artist's links on the bottom, just in case you're interested in seeing how they made it and all that. Um, I made some earrings, some cookie earrings, and these are super super tiny. And I'll show you how small they are. Hopefully you can see that. And I made a few of these. So. I also made um, some white fake plugs. And I made some Swarovski crystal fake plugs. This necklace. And I absolutely love it. It actually goes with my makeup. But, um, it's just a girl crossing her legs. And you can see the fishnet stockings she's wearing. So pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm going to turn it into a necklace. But I thought it would be cute too to make earrings out of it. I also made a couple bow, um, earrings. I have it in black and I have it in pink as well. And I think these will look very cute with the um, bow ring. So, so yeah, that is all for the the jewelry that I've made so far. Um, stay tuned, and I'm gonna make you know just like another or part two of the polymer clays that I've been doing and I have a lot of cute stuff in that too so if you guys are interested in, in any of the creations that I've made um, please send me a message either on here or on Facebook I prefer if it was on Facebook I'll leave the link below and I can make you one alright see you guys later bye